Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my HTML5 and CSS3 video series. So in this video we're going to be learning about uh, the font property in CSS. So I have already so I have already created a, an HTML file and I have linked an external CSS style sheet. So in the previous video we wrote some CSS and um, so I am just going to be continuing continu continuing with this um, CSS. So let's learn about the font property. This is the font property, but let's le first learn other stuff. So let's learn about the, what's this? Okay, let's first learn the font size. So here you can specify the font size of it. For instance, for instance, we can make the font size 20 pixels. Or we can make it 80 pixels, for instance. Or maybe 40 pixels. Okay, and you can even specify this in in EMs. EM is basically uh, the size of an M character. Okay. Or okay, this is going to be quite big, so yeah. <laughs> we can specify it in centimeter as well. As you can see, let's make it one centimeter. Or you can make it in ch. I'm not sure what the ch is, but you can make it in ch. Okay. Or you can even make it in percentages. For instance, hundred percent, or three hundred thousand percent. Not three hundred thousand. I mean three hundred percent. Okay. So different ways to where you can specify it. I mostly use pixels. Okay. Let's just make it a bit more appropriate. I'm gonna make it about 40 pixels. Okay, so I'm mostly going to be using pixels almost always. Okay, let's learn the next thing. Font family. So font family is the font family type, the font family. Let's for instance make it uh what is there? Let's make it Georgia. Okay, so this is a, a font type Georgia as you can see it now changed the font we had there also it's kind of recommended to have the font in the double quotes okay for instance let's give it Helvetica v Helvetica as, as you can see the font changed again we can make it for instance courier new I think it's spelled like that might be wrong or Arial, for instance. Okay, but I think let's leave it. Or, or Times New Roman. Uh, I'm not sure how to spell it. Or maybe uh, Web Things. Yeah, that's most Web Things. Let's change it back to Georgia. Okay. So this is how you specify a font type. A font family, but make sure it it it, it is a web it, it it is a web friendly font. Web friendly fonts are like Arial, I think Georgia, Helvetica, Times New Roman, uh, those type of fonts. Okay, because they are supported on on all browsers and operating systems. Okay, next we can learn the what else is there. Uh, font weight okay so font weight is the uh, boldness of, of something you can make it for instance normal you can make oh, just add a semicolon we can make make it bold or you can make it bolder doesn't seem to work okay but you can, you can specify it in numbers so 100 you can make it 200 you can make it 300, you can make it 600, uh, 700 is equal to the normal bold, or you can go and make it 900 for instance. Doesn't seem to change much, much, but yeah. Let's make it 500 for instance. Yeah, I'm gonna leave mine as just bold. Okay. And, and Another property 
you can set is the font style okay so font style is something for instance we can italicize it as you can see let's increase the font size a bit let's make the font size 39 okay let's go to font let's see what else there is we can teach you guys uh oops yeah but you should actually just just go and play around and see what there is there's plenty of different stuff here and some of them are really quite cool uh let's see yeah i think i i've now taught you guys the most important ones i think the other one the other ones you sh you guys should you, sh you guys sh should just go and google um so you can also do this a shorter way by just specifying the font tag then we can give it for instance pixels we can specify the font family we can specify must be bold and italic okay so now let's comment this out save it and the fresh ah but it doesn't work so why doesn't this work well basically because there's actually a specific order this um things must be in okay and here you can see the order so it was first read the font style then the font variant then the font weight then the font size the line height and then the font family so this these things must always be in, in a specific order okay so let's fix that let's first have the font uh, the font family oh it wants the font st style first sorry so the font style is italic then the font weight and then the font size then the font family okay so guys always try and keep this order to have here first font style then font variant then font weight then font size then line height and then font family let's save refresh and ah now it works again okay so remember to keep this order let's remove this okay guys this is basically how the font uh property works so thanks for watching guys uh if this video helped you help you in any way and then don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.